beef cattle operation along with uh, corn, soybeans, and wheat. Us being a grain and livestock operation, uh, we want the manure to feed the corn and, the, and then us, the corn, comes back and feeds the cattle. And it kind of completes the cycle on our farm. We have deep pitted barns, which are, uh, are typically our, our pits are eight feet deep and their pits are 40 by 40, uh, set up to hold about six months of storage. We actually uh, put pumps into the pits and stir them so we get a consistent product, you know, every time. And we load them on semis and then in turn those semis will haul them out to the field and then inject in, into the soil and we, and by injecting I mean we're actually putting it into the soil so we don't have odor and we actually don't lose our nitrogen by going up into the air. Corn needs nitrogen to grow, it also needs phosphorus and it also needs potassium. So for example, with an application of cattle manure, I can offer 100% of the nitrogen it needs in one year. I can offer the P and K, in other words, phosphorus or potassium that that corn plant needs in two years. That beef animal eats the corn, turns around, gives me the manure for one year, one full year of a corn crop and then also gives me the phosphorus and the potassium for the second year. So it's a pretty kind of neat little exchange. I call it the you know, liquid gold because I think I can uh, add nutrients to a field that uh, I couldn't do any other way or couldn't afford to do any other way. Most people not, not totally understanding the difference between organic and non-organic or whatever, that don't understand it, they think hey, organic is cleaner and better, but organic means manure. That's what it means. It's not commercial fertilizer. It's, it's manure from livestock. It's no different than commercial fertilizer. It's, it's just natural. <laughs>